Hi Mike, how are you doing? Hello, nice to see you. Great. Alright, so I have a couple of questions for you tonight. Okay. Okay, let's start with this one. This is a fast one. Um, what would you say makes the UK one of the best places to start a business? Um, well, there's, there's some structural reasons why the UK is a good place to start a business in terms of uh, uh, corporation tax is quite low. So in order to start a business you can get by an off-the-shelf company for about £150. Um, you can register a company with companies now for about £150. So it's, it's pretty simple to start businesses. I mean in other parts of Europe it can be more complex. You know, there needs to be, um, one of the, uh, but, but ultimately there is a relatively high tax regime as well maybe compared to some parts of Europe, but, but then it's, uh, there is a lot of uh, dynamism in, uh, in UK companies, so you, a lot of what you find is some, sometimes is that European startups do actually register the company in London, even though they might, the company actually might be built in another place, part of Europe altogether. Okay, great. Uh, then I have another question coming in from the audience out there on the web. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with a lot of uh, large corporates uh, going out of business, yeah. And banking sector being a minefield at the moment, there is a lot of experienced talent out there that could be tapped by startups. Yeah. So, how uh, should UK startups try to attract this talent? Well, uh, first of all, a lot of people coming out of the banks won't necessarily be ideal for startups. If they've been, if they're technology people, if they're uh, engineers, they'll be used to coding and things like Java, and they won't be used to Ruby on Rails or uh, PHP that is necessary necessarily the kind of stuff that startups produce you would use for, to build their, their companies. But um, but there's still going to be lots of talent, that's absolutely true. And there'll be people coming out of banks with um, redundancy money and um, they, maybe they can bring something to the party that's interesting, who knows? You've got to find those people. Alright, and uh, one last question is uh, with less than 10% of UK startups being created by women, uh, what would you say to encourage more females to start their own business? And what networks uh, would you suggest people to look, uh, people to look to in order to get support uh, when they're starting out? Well, the interesting thing is that in the startup community in London and the UK at the moment, there's a lot of uh, bodies being created by women for women to create companies. So you've got women in entrepreneurs, girl geeks, you've got uh, silicon stilettos, you've got all of these support groups now being created who are really designed to like by women, designed to. to support and mentor and network women together, women entrepreneurs. So it's really cool to sort of Google those, so Silicon Stilettos, Girl Geeks, Women women in Technology, Google those things, find those if you're a woman, if you're a woman and you want to be an entrepreneur. And also I think that, and those are the leaders, those will be the leaders of the future. And, um, but certainly as a woman, I mean, certainly in the technology space, I think um, lots of, because there are relatively few women in, in the technology sector, it's more unusual and I think, uh, you know, the, the sector really needs much more gender balance, much more women to be involved because women are great entrepreneurs, they, they're intuitive, they're able to, uh, but I mean in a good way as well as being obviously logical, <laughs> as, as logical guys, <laughs> yeah. but, they're, but they're, they're smart, they think in a kind of, they're, they're just clever people, they're, they're thick in the round. I'm a married guy, I know women. I, uh, I, <laughs> yeah. I know women are like and, uh, to an extent and, and um you know, I mean, I wish my wife would become an entrepreneur, and I think maybe she will be, so... Um, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So, uh, I, I think there's, it's, the world is just wide open, so go for it. Okay, one uh, well, last thing. You know, you've been on tour quite a lot lately, let's say, across Europe. Yeah. So, what do you think, where, which is the hot, hottest scene in Europe? Uh, is it Nordic Europe? Is it Southern Europe? Where? Well, I mean, it kind of depends on what you're looking for, but I mean, I think that um, certainly um, Germany and Berlin is really hot right now because it's, it's quite cheap to start up in Germany and in Berlin at the moment, but um, the Nordic countries, Finland and Sweden, are amazing, and um, uh, also in Southern Europe, interestingly, I mean, I went to Istanbul, I went to Rome and to Athens, and there's a lot of pent-up... Um, talent and you know really amazing people and they don't get a lot of the uh, kind of press that they deserve so that's one of the things I made some great contacts in those countries um, but certainly in Spain 
I would say probably, you know, I think the big, the big, big countries like UK, France, Germany are always going to be good to be doing startups uh, because they're just big markets. Um, but certainly, I would say big places that are hot right now are places like. Uh, uh, Finland and, uh, and uh, Germany. Uh, would, would it be an advice from your point of view now that we are kind of facing these recessions in the sense that a word of advice you know from your point of view for businesses that are out there? Well I would say that um, it's going to be a downturn, it's going to be a terrible economic downturn and everyone's got to be really correct about that and really real. But what will happen next is that um, there'll be a lot of new people on the market um, and this is good so this is the way you sort out the wheat from the chaff. Exactly. And so you get some of the, you get actually some of the best startups are built in downturns because you get these psycho entrepreneurs who creativity on um, so it's it's going to be a fascinating time and I think it's going to be a great time to do a startup actually Mike thank you very much for your time and now let's go and enjoy the crunch party let's do it cheers bye bye